Moscow Russia hung on in extra time to beat Spain on penalties in a shock result that sends the hosts through to the last eight of World Cup 2018. In a match where Spain enjoyed 79% of possession, not even the positive impact of another standout performance from Isco could break down the Russia defense to give Spain the easy win many had predicted. Two saves from Igor Akinfeyev in the penalty shootout gave the hosts the 4-3 win. The match still started well for Spain. Russia seemed overwhelmed by the occasion for the first time this tournament, in this their first knockout stage match at a World Cup since Mexico 1986. The first goal highlighted this quality discrepancy early on, as abysmal Russia defending gave Spain the lead. Sergei Ignishevich seemed more concerned by bulldozing Sergio Ramos down in the six-yard box than defending the Spain corner, and with his back to the ball accidentally clipped it over the line to put Russia behind in the 11th minute. But some counter-attacking from Russia late in the half gave paid off, as a Russia corner turned into a penalty thanks to Gerard Pique's flailing arm catching the ball in the air. Russia coach Stanislav Shershasov couldn't even bear to watch, turning his back on the action as the weight of the country's expectations fell on Artem Dzubis' shoulders. But you wouldn't have guessed it, as the striker coolly slotted the penalty into the bottom left corner of the goal in the 41st minute to the delight of the home crowd's booming cheers. Spain's frustration going into the halftime undoubtedly motivated their much more positive start to the second period, with more purposeful crossing and penetration at goal, but still struggling to create tangible goal-scoring opportunities. It has smashed a World Cup passing record in those 120 minutes, completing 1,030 of its 1,140. But it was utterly impotent. It was completely bereft of ambition. It passed its own World Cup campaign to death, and perished in one of the biggest upsets in knockout round history. The 1,000 passes were deathly boring, too. They proved once and for all that possession stats are anything but indicators of attacking soccer. Spain played as cautiously as any team at the World Cup. And it paid the price. Andres Iniesta and Fyodor Smolov cancelled each other out in the opening round of the shootout. Gerard Pique smashed Spain's second in off the post, but 38-year-old Sergei Ignishevich wrong-footed David De Gea to equalize. And then Igor Akinfeyev denied Koke to give Russia the advantage. Alexander Golovin then slid his shot underneath a diving De Gea to put Russia in front. Russia held serve. And Akinfeyev denied Iago Aspas to send Spain home. Spain's early dominance pays off there's a thought that Spain, aside from its opener against Morocco, has been scoring some very un-Spanish goals at the 2018 World Cup. But the opportunities to score scrappy or lucky goals are some of the many beneficial offshoots of all the possession and probing. Spain's attacking half control yielded a free kick near the right corner. Sergio Ramos' clever back post movement had 39-year-old Sergei Ignishevich scrambling. And if the Russian defender hadn't had the ball carry him off his calf and into the net, he probably would have been whistled for a penalty. Russia next plays Croatia or Denmark who play later Sunday. The quarterfinal is on Saturday evening in Sochi, AP.